This video is a quick demonstration of the RBTV 1.01 uh, uh, trainer board. Uh, this is an input-output trainer board. Uh, we have the input board here and we have the output board here. Uh, and I'm going to demonstrate a few of the peripherals that are on this. Uh, so this board can be used to uh, just show the basic functionality of different electrical devices or it can also be used um, to practice and debug uh, microcontroller programs. So the first thing is it runs off a standard uh, 5 volt um, barrel jack supply that plugs into the wall. Uh, so that's easily available. So I'm going to demonstrate um, some of the inputs controlling some of the outputs. Now keep in mind you could also use a microcontroller to control this board or to read this board. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is one of the very basic ones. I'm going to attach uh, one of the buttons to one of the LEDs. Then, when that button is pushed, we can see the LED turning on and off. Now, there are eight LEDs here, so this can be used for microcontroller binary demonstrations. It makes it very easy to visualize binary operations. Uh, the next that I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this to the opto-isolator. So the opto-isolator is essentially a photo gate. Uh, when interrupted, um, it will uh, give a value of zero volts. So I'm just going to use my screwdriver. I'm going to cross the photo gate, and as you see, the LED turns off. When I go out of the photo gate, it'll turn back on again. This is a standard sensor that is used in, uh, in industry and in commercial products as well. Uh, we have a Hall effect sensor here, a temperature sensor, and a color sensor. Uh, these give out voltage values at 0 5 volts that can be read on a microcontroller. Uh, the other is we also have a digital encoder here. This is a two-phase encoder. Um, so it has phase A and phase B. So this can be used to easily demonstrate how uh, you would read an encoder. And here you can see the pulses coming through. If you were to hook up both, you would see how they alternate. In fact, I'll do that quickly. So as you can see, when I turn it, they blink out of phase. This is how you can sense the direction. So this can be used with microcontroller applications. You can see when it's going from the top and from the bottom. So the next, I'm going to quickly demonstrate some of the motor applications on this. So for that, we're going to use one of the buttons. These buttons give a 5 volt reading when pressed. So for this one we're going to demonstrate a simple DC motor. So for the DC motor, we have a positive and we have a negative. One will power it in one direction, the other will power it in the other direction. So when I press the button, the motor is currently spinning in one direction. Now it's spinning in the other. So we can change the direction it's spinning in just by pressing the button. Uh, the next we have is we have a simple buzzer. Uh, this is a piezo buzzer, although you do not have to pulse it because that is being done on the circuit board uh, with a timer circuit here. So when we press the button, you're going to hear the buzzer beep. Uh, over here, we have a very small solenoid. Uh, when I take the button and run it to the solenoid, and press the button, we see the solenoid actuating. It is a spring return solenoid. So the next we have is we're going to demonstrate the potentiometer controlling uh, the RC servo. So for that one we are going to take this wire and 
we are going to take the potentiometer. Again, the potentiometer gives a reading of 0 to 5 volts. And we're going to run that to the one that is labeled as servo. We're going to turn the potentiometer to zero. Then we're going to plug this cable in. This is the cable for the servo. Then as we turn the servo, uh, sorry, as we turn the potentiometer, we notice that the servo is going to mimic the movement we make. And this can be used in many, many different applications, including um, force feedback, uh, motion replication, different things like that. Uh, the stepper motor is another one on here. Uh, this one uh, is best to be controlled with a microcontroller. Uh, the microcontroller can be used to move um, the stepper in different directions. This is also a current limited stepper, uh, so it does not work to the stepper's full potential. It is just for uh, demonstration purposes, not functional purposes. Over here we have a limit switch. The limit switch works the same as, a, as any other switch. It is just there to uh, you know, demonstrate how uh, limit switches look and how they're implemented. Over here we have sonar. Uh, this um, here, we can ping it and it sends out an ultrasonic signal. And then uh, when that signal returns, uh, one of the other pins will go high. Uh, this allows us to measure distance.